If you've ever spotted a big black bird and wondered which one you're looking at, you're definitely not alone. These two birds are often confused for each other, but after watching this video, you'll be able to spot the difference like a pro. Crows and ravens, they're two of the smartest birds around, and honestly, they look pretty similar. Both are jet black, both are incredibly intelligent, and both have a reputation for being a little mysterious. But despite their similarities, there are some key differences that set them apart. First, size. Ravens are bigger. In fact, they're the largest songbirds in North America. When you see them up close, the difference is pretty striking. Think of a raven as about the size of a big hawk, while a crow is closer to a pigeon, just a bit chunkier. If you see a bird that looks almost as big as a hawk, you're probably looking at a raven. Crows, on the other hand, are noticeably smaller and more compact. If you see a really large black bird with a wingspan that feels dramatic, that's a raven. Their wings can stretch up to four feet across, making them look almost majestic as they soar. Now, let's talk beaks. Ravens have heavier, more curved beaks, almost like a small scythe. Their beaks are thick and powerful, perfect for tearing into food or even breaking open tough objects. Crows? Their beaks are straighter, slimmer, and tidier. They look more delicate, and they're great for picking up small items or probing for insects. Listen for their voices. Crows give out that classic caw, caw, sharp, and repetitive. It's a sound you'll hear in parks, neighborhoods, and just about anywhere crows hang out. Ravens, on the other hand, make a deeper, more guttural sound. It's almost a croak, and sometimes it sounds like a low gurgle. Their calls can echo through forests and mountains, adding to their mysterious vibe. If you're hearing something that sounds mysterious and a bit spooky, that's probably a raven. Their calls can send chills down your spine, especially on a foggy morning. Check out their tails when they fly. Crows have tails that fan out evenly. Basically, they look squared off at the end. It's like a neat little fan, and you'll notice it when they spread their tail feathers in flight. Raven's tails, though, are wedge-shaped, almost diamond-like when spread. This shape helps them steer as they glide and soar, and it's a great clue for identification. Flight style is another clue. Crows flap their wings a lot and look kind of busy in the air. They're always on the move, darting from place to place, rarely gliding for long. Ravens are more graceful. They'll soar and even do acrobatics, rolling and flipping mid-air. Watching a raven fly is like watching a dancer in the sky, using the wind to their advantage. If you see a blackbird riding the wind, barely flapping, that's likely a raven. They can glide for long distances, making their flight look almost effortless. Even their feet can give you a hint. Ravens have larger, more robust feet compared to the slimmer toes of crows. This helps them grip rocky ledges and rough terrain in the wild. Let's talk social life. Crows love company. You'll often spot them in groups, especially in cities or anywhere with snacks. They're social birds, known for their complex family groups and even holding funerals for lost members. Ravens are more solitary, or you'll see them in pairs. They form strong bonds with their mates and are often seen exploring wild places together away from the crowds. Habitat matters too. Crows are everywhere. Cities, fields, parking lots. They're incredibly adaptable and thrive wherever people are, scavenging for food and making the most of urban life. Ravens prefer wilder places, mountains, forests, deserts. You're more likely to find them in remote areas, soaring over cliffs or calling from tall trees. Last detail, look at their neck feathers. Ravens have shaggy throat feathers, almost like a beard. Crows' necks are sleek. This beard is especially noticeable when a raven is calling or ruffling its feathers. So next time you see a big black bird, check the size, beak, voice, tail, flight, and where you are. Don't forget to look for those shaggy throat feathers and even the size of their feet. With a little practice, you'll know if it's a clever crow or a mysterious raven in no time. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, share this with a fellow nature lover, and don't forget to subscribe for more quick nature guides. There's a whole world of wildlife out there, and we're just getting started.